Nawab means a royal or noble person. Let's find out if today's fragrance is fit for royalty or not. Hey guys, welcome to my channel Intellectual Sense. My name is Div Jyot. On this channel, we talk about fragrance related content. So if you are interested in that, then hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Now in today's topic, we will discuss about a fragrance called Nawab of Oud by Ormond Jane. Now this is an intensive version, which means uh, that uh, it has got 42% oil in it rather than standard 25% oil which you get in Nawab of Oud. Now, Ormond Jane is a house from UK and uh, they started back in 2002. Uh, they started making candles and then they ventured into perfumes. Now, generally English houses are very safe houses, uh, like they create very safe fragrance to wear. Now, let's see if this fragrance is an exception or is it part of the pack also. So we will start with the presentation first. So let's start with the presentation first. Now it has got an outer sleeve uh, with Ormond Jane London written on it. It is made in England and in the back it has got uh, you know the ingredients uh, and uh, the name of the perfume. Now as you open up the sleeve uh, it has got uh, the inner casing which has got Ormond Jane London written on it. And as you open it up, we have got a card uh, with the name of the perfume, which is Nabab of Oud Intensivo. And uh, it has got the notes of it and you know how it was inspired. Now, this is from Four Corners of the Earth series uh, and it has got fragrance from India, China, Russia and Latin America. And uh, if you look at the bottle of it, it's a very elegant bottle and uh, it has got uh, again the name of uh, the perfume, the company name Ormond Jane, created in London and yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, I like it. I would have wanted this presentation to be a bit more sharp. This is a very classic presentation, I will say. Uh, I would have wanted if the bottle, uh, the, the top of it is magnetic the cap of it and uh, generally the sprayer is pretty good no issues so in overall I would like to give this 8.5 out of 10 uh, considering the price of it I would have preferred this presentation to be a bit sharper now let's talk about the review of this particular fragrance now as soon as you spray this perfume uh, the first thing you smell is a citrusy green opening uh, kind of it has a got of orange tinge to it and bit of cardamom in it also now it's kind of remind me of uh, like you're having your morning chai uh, along with your breakfast in an Indian countryside that's how you know the opening makes you feel like now as this opening will stay for about few minutes and then after that the citrusy uh, part of it will you know fade away and then you will see the entry of two main players of this particular perfume which are dark rose and it has got vetiver also now this the green notes from the opening will keep coming uh, into the middle notes also and uh, the blend is quite well now there is a bit of oud in this particular fragrance uh, when i was wearing this fragrance initially I was searching for oud and I was not finding anything. Uh, I was saying maybe I, I don't smell the oud, you know, like the other reviewers were smelling. There is a oud, but it's very subtle oud uh, which is there. It's not a main player. It's uh, kind of a, in the background. Now this uh, particular smell will stay for next three hours. And after those three hours, you see the entry of amber. Now the amber hair is also derived from labdamum like I have talked about in my previous videos. But this amber is quite soft. It's not very resinous like normal ambers are. And the reason it's soft is because of amber grease. And I think they have used an original amber grease also in this particular perfume, uh, which makes it quite soft. The amber accords become very soft. Now 
the, the best part of this per, uh, particular perfume is that it lasts a long time. In summer, I have gotten a longevity of around 10 hours, 10 to 12 hours. And in winter, in Indian winter I'm talking about, I've seen it go as long as 16 hours on the skin, not on clothes. On clothes, it can last uh, more than 24 hours. And this is the int intensive version which I'm talking about, not the normal version. So the longevity is a kind of a very good on this particular perfume. And also uh, the silage is pretty good. For first uh, six hour, uh, the silage is very, very good in my opinion. So from that aspect, this perfume does very well in my opinion. Now, how does it smell like? Now, if you're sitting uh, like two feet away from me, you will not be able to smell all the notes which I've talked about. What you will smell is a beautiful floral fragrance from two feet away, uh, which is very royal. Now, it is not Nawab of Oud. I will call it Nawab of Rose or Nawab of Amber. That's what this perfume should have been named as. Now, talking about the weather, when is this fragrance best suited for? I will say it's best suited for early fall or spring season. However, you can wear this all year long, especially in India, because the cold in India is not very harsh as compared to, say, in Canada or Nordic countries. So from that aspect, uh, I think this, is, uh, this can be worn all year long also. Now, in terms of, uh, uh, you know, when shall we wear this? Is it just worth a uh, like, signature fragrance? I will not call this a signature fragrance. I will call it a fragrance which you should wear on special occasion. A special occasion meaning you should going on some marriage some you know you know some big thing which is happening in your life and then you wear this particular fragrance i know i personally wear this uh, fragrance uh, whenever i'm going on a marriage because i know if i wear this fragrance i will be the best smelling guy in in that marriage for sure so that's how good this particular fragrance is and this very unique fragrance i haven't smelled something like this in in thousands of fragrance which i have tried so from that aspect it's very good also now it comes with a very hefty price tag a price tag of 280 dollars for 50 ml and in india you can get it at sentido for around 20000 rupees for 50 ml uh, so is that price tag worth it I will say it's definitely worth that price tag simply because it's last long time it's a unique blend it smells very good it smells royal the notes the ingredients which have been used are high quality so from that aspect uh, this takes all the marks in my opinion so it's definitely worth the fragrance I highly recommend you to you know try this fragrance it's a very very unique fragrance and my uh, then, and is it a royal fragrance? Absolutely, it's a royal fragrance. It's not Nawab of Oud. And like I said, it should be Nawab of Rose or Nawab of Amber. That's what it should be called. So yeah, so I highly recommend you to try this fragrance. My overall rating of this particular uh, perfume is 10 out of 10. There's no other, the only drawback I see is the presentation. And that's my personal uh, you know, style. I like sharp presentation rather than classic presentation. So, so yeah, it's definitely worth it. Go ahead and try it. And uh, guys, this is my review of this fragrance. I hope you all liked it. And if you liked it, then like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Cheers.